Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 30, holy cow, it's episode 30 already, of MC Eternal. Uh, I am hopping into the nether for a minute. I keep trying to do things and not having lava, and it's getting annoying. Hello. Ah, creepers. Creepers and bad guys. Oh boy, it blazes. Did I get him? Oh, there he is. Fly now, buddy. Look at this. I show up and literally I'm just assaulted by bad dudes everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Uh, what I'd love to do though, yay for flight. Uh, oh, I hate those things. Can I set up a quickie, quickie little setup here? Thank you. That's what I wanted to see. You guys. Listen. Look. Look, I get it. You're all mean. And terrible. Ow, 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 ow. I don't like anything that's happening right now. Alright. Whose decision was it to come in here? Look at those dudes. There's a lot of those things. Hold on, do I have a wand? What am I? I've got Blizzard. Yeah. Oh boy, the, the guys who throw TNT, not cool. How successful do you think a Blizzard spell will be against them, dude? What is this? What was that weird noise? Dudes, all I want to do is set up a lava thing. I'm going over here. Oh, there's more bad guys over here. Goodness. That's not a bad guy, at least. All I wanted was quickie lava access. That's right, buddies. Splat. Splat, indeed. The annoyance with those dudes is they're, like, immune to damage when they're charging up their lava. Stop. See? They're immune to damage right now. I was hoping they wouldn't be immune to, like, you know ice damage when they were charging up their lava stuffs, but anyway, can we please, for like five seconds, just be left alone so I can set up uh, a quickie pump? Thank you, filter lava, and power, and ender tank, and I probably should have gotten a range upgrade for you. Oh, my receiver got blown up, didn't it? Did my receiver get blowed up? It totally did. It totally did. We better make sure that this is working, right? So, like, let's clear you, and then boom. And then, there you go. Alright, to home we go, because I forgot range upgrades for this dude. I knew I was forgetting something. And range upgrades was it. And look at all this junk. Look at it all. Look at the junk. All right, let's take a quick snack break. Heal up a little bit of health. Be ready with ice shards. Uh, range upgrade. I probably want Foregoing's biggest range upgrade, right? Uh, plus 12. Sounds ideal. Guess we have not as many uh, emeralds as I thought, but we'll, we'll find more. I'm not worried. Woot. And or whoosh. Got him. If you're quick enough, you're good. All right. What I'm going to do... Real quick. 
is do that. And then maybe you'll get to work, buddy. Why are you not working right now? Hey, where's my range upgrade that I just made? Erg. I have a bad feeling about that range upgrade. Here. I guess I'll go with the plus 10. I was going to do the plus 9, but then I realized I could do plus 10 for almost the same. All right, let's try this again. Whew, they are not making it easy on me today, folks. Not making it easy on me today. All right, so you... Ow, what am I on fire from? Well, at least this uh, spell casting wand is pretty helpful against these dudes. I like how it like freezes a little bit too. That's the best. Oh my goodness, just literally assaulted. The nether is not a friendly place at all. All I want to look, you just you gotta stop spawning. You guys you guys just have to stop. Stop existing, please. Well, at least you guys get to see me using spells. I mean, that was kind of fun, using all these cool spells to kill those dudes. Alright, now can you please, for like a second, behave yourself? Out of mana, I believe. Yep, definitely out of mana. Hey, we're getting lava! Yay! Now you come here. And give me an advanced mechanical pipe. And give me a one of these. And give me this dude. Actually, no. There you go. Perfect. I'll take it. Alright, now we just need to chunk load you, right? So, how do we do on chunk boundaries? Not terrible. Okay, chunk loaded. So home we go. Let's get out of here. We've got Lava Gen. Woot! That was cool. So anyway, the intention of today's episode was for that to go very quickly and then move on to other things. That took a little longer than I expected, but, you know, life goes on. Uh, where can I set this up? I would like, 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 to have, um, what I want is basically, uh, let's do a sink. Right, we could knock one of these dudes out pretty easily. We just need some clay. And to be smelted. And then we're gonna want a sink, which needs a bucket of water, I believe, right? Okay, igneous extruder is gonna chill right there. And we're gonna have a drawer uh, that you're going to output bus into with a key that will lock it. And you're going to be set to obsidian. Okay. And then what I will do is I want access to the lava. So easy access doing that. Boom. You've got lava coming in now. Uh, for power, I don't know that I have power easily available around here. But we could always figure out a solution. For now, I don't think you're going to be drawing that much RF. Like 20. So I could totally do one of these. Bing. Right. And then sink. And then mechanical pipe. And then... Do -do. And then you've got water. And you're making obsidian. Sweet. And you're going to auto-output that obsidian into the adjacent drawer. Once I tell the drawer, he's allowed to have obsidian. So goodbye, obsidian. Hello, obsidian. Hello, obsidian. Sweet. 
Now, I wouldn't mind a quick Invar kit, just a just a quickie one, just a quickie one uh, that we can use um, to speed this up a little bit, right? A little bit faster wouldn't be the end of the world. And as long as it still stays under ADR if a tick, we should be cool. 60. Good enough. I'll take it, right? Still under 80. Works for me. The reason is I needed more obsidian, and I kept saying, like, oh, I need to wait to get obsidian to do that, right? Like, my drawer upgrade, for example, right? Um, I wanted to make uh, void drawers, and void drawers require a hefty amount of obsidian, right? Um, boom. Now we can do that with far less concern. Hey, look who cleaned up back here. Me. Direwolf did. I did a nice job, too, I feel like. Uh, so we've got the exact same setup that we did last episode right i just moved it back two blocks worth uh so that all this stuff is here all this stuff is here you're full on hydrogen oh i forgot to set you back to dumping excess and you should also be dumping excess you both should be um i went ahead and threw a little bit of a speed and energy upgrade into these dudes um and a couple of these guys also got some speed and energy upgrades um right they don't super need them right now it looks like because we've uh cleared things out but that's all good the other thing i needed obsidian for um the main thing i needed obsidian for was flux stuff so um let's do that because i definitely need more flux things right so a point for adding energy to the flux network yes one two of those uh and then i need a couple more removals right uh, so let's do eyes of ender. Okay. Uh, we're going to definitely need some more removals. And could I set up auto crafting for these? Sure. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a point right here. Your network will be a new network called generators. And this is kind of a standard approach for me, right? Create uh public public network called generators okay uh and you're going to disable the limit right so you can you know do all the things and power and all that good stuff right so that's going to be that and if i wanted to i could even name him uh gas burning gen one because we might have more gas burning generators in the future we'll find out uh these guys can produce quite a lot of power by the way uh now you dudes are going to be pretty much the same Okay, um, you're going to also be a flux point uh, on the generators, and you're going to be called uh, fuel gens. Okay, so that's cool. Now, you are probably losing power, so what we're going to want to do is have a flux point here that's going to be on the generators network, right? So now both sets of generators are producing power and feeding the machine, except they probably already filled up the machine because that was a lot of power really fast. And that was cool, right? We're now probably limited only by the input speed of the energy cell. And we'll probably want to do something similar here, right? Like you are getting power from uh, this, this dude. Instead, I want you to get power from the generators network, right? So now generators are also feeding the ultimate energy cube that's right here. We will probably change this up where we have one giant energy storage system for mechanism in the future. And then at that point, we won't have multiple energy cubes coming in. But for now, this is a good approach, right? Um, so that all energy is, is going through the generators network. And I, and I think that's pretty cool. I like it. Actually, now nah, I remembered why I left you open here. Um, you know, speaking of, speaking of drawer upgrades, that should be voiding. Uh, you can probably be void upgraded as well, kids. Boop, boop. Oh, I already did that. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I'll need them for, uh, let's do, let's do outside. You and you. Okay, guys? And that's cool. Man, I love, I love having wireless. I just feel like I'm just getting so good at this. Uh, let's also charge our wand, by the way. Mr. Wand, where are you at? There you are. Cha-ching. How's my, uh, we are super close to master. I think, I think in the coming episodes, we will hit master and then, uh, then cool things, right? So today, or tripling, right? So purification, uh, 
factory, right? Uh, which then needs, so we're gonna be doing purification chamber, right? So we're gonna want you in a crushing factory, so this stuff can all go away. So purification factory into crusher factory, into enrichment factory, into a uh, smelting factory. There you are, uh, smelting factory. I'm just gonna look up here. Basic smelting factory. That's the line for ore processing, right? So what we're gonna do is create each of these guys in turn and that should be fun. Sound cool? <clears throat> Let's do it. And because this is a world download episode, I'm gonna try and get this done before the end of the episode. For example, when I wanna make my crusher, I can now get lava easier. See why I did that? It was a, there was a, there was a method to my madness. Oh, how did a creeper get down here? What? What? Explain. Explain how a creeper got down there. Where did a creeper come in at? Oh, you know, maybe from in here? Is there any dark spots in here? I guess he could have snuck in this pathway. Did he really pathfind his way into here? What a stinker. This is the only explanation for where a creeper might have come from, right? There's nowhere else how he could have gotten to this basement. Wow, what a stinker. I am glad that death is really not painful in this pack because I've died a lot more than I'm used to dying in a pack. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so for purification chambers, we're going to need advanced control circuits, which are pretty easy to make, but we're going to need more enriched alloys, which is more iron, which I believe we're getting low on again. Uh, so I'm going to do my best, and if I run out of iron, we're going to have to process more. But that's okay. Life goes on. Uh, so you can give me one, two of these, right? And then you, purification chamber, need another enrichment chamber. Ah, okay, cool. Which needs more iron. <laughs> I need more iron. Oh, oh, cruel face. You got me. You got me, buddy. I'm just going to do a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Oh, and uh, that, please. Good enough. So enrichment, uh, which then turns into purification chamber. Okay, so there you go. Smelter, chamber, crusher, chamber. Sweet. Uh, and now we can upgrade each of these guys uh, into the basic smeltery version of them, right? So the factory tiered version. Uh, which shouldn't be too hard. You just need enriching factory, a little bit more iron. Okay. Sweet. So those are the machines that we're going to need to process all our stuff, right? So I'm going to start with purifying, right? Because that's the one that needs gas, isn't it? Is purifying the one that needs gas? I think so. Purifying needs oxygen, right? So eventually there might be more complexities behind this wall that will lead to, to, to quadrupling and quintupling ores, right? But I'm kind of planning for the future. And uh, for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. So let's get our gas line going in here, advanced pressurized tubes from oxygen, right? So that's gonna be you, buddy, okay? You're already outputting oxygen, so that's good. Gonna be prepared because you know we're gonna need lots of space here all right so uh we're gonna need power and we're gonna need a few other things so let's get and i believe if i'm not mistaken technically we only need four machines here right one two three four that should be cool i'm not mistaken uh i believe that Everything that's going to go in here is going to get crushed and processed in, in a smart way, right? So you can be a Darwell 20 network flux point. And you're getting juice. Nice. Okay, so you're going to have purification chamber followed by crushing factory. Okay, followed by enriching factory. Followed by smelting factory, right? And your side config 
you're going to be input from the top, auto eject yes, outputs to the left. And on the back, you're gonna have extra purple or I don't know, I guess extra purple. Is that is that where I would get the gas in from? Or actually, no, you don't, you don't need anything because you have your own gas line. Uh, all sides can be gas, perfect. Okay, so that works, right? Then you are gonna be side configed such that input from left, out, or input from right, output there, you're gonna be side configed in a similar way. All right, so we're back. So I've got that all set up here, right? So now what we want is to connect our air tubing, right? Boom, there's oxygen flowing in, perfect. Uh, and that will allow this thing to keep producing hydrogen uh, even though Right, like we're, or, or, or even though hydrogen's full, oxygen's still being produced. That's why we have dumping excess on, right? And that's that's why this guy's just still running. He's going to run constantly using 320 RF and tech, but that's okay because we have plenty of power going on. So your input is zero at the moment. What do you got going on? I mean, yeah, you're 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 cooking out some RF, dudes. I don't know how much RF this thing is going to produce for us. I forget how much he's capable of producing. I think it's more than 160, though, right? Definitely, definitely more than 160 RF and tech. I'd be shocked if it was something that low. I remember it being like a lot. I remember it being like a really good number. But anyway, let's 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 give this thing a try, right? So what we're gonna have um, is you extracting there, because I don't think there's an auto input option on mechanism machines. Um, and you know what? I can let me just grab some iron, because that's what we're definitely low on at the moment, right? And, whoop, and you know what else I want is gold. I would love I would love for some gold. Oop. And maybe some osmium. Do we have osmium in here? No, because I, I cooked all my osmium and I uh, have not been to the scary deep dark dimension since. So, yes, let's put, you know, let's, let's just put like some gold in there. And what you should do uh, is purify. You know, I'm just going to do all my gold. That looks cool. Oh, yeah, split on, please. Everybody split on. And obviously these guys could use some speed upgrades and that's something we'll do, right? But then you do that and you crush it. Nice. That's what I like to see, folks. Uh, and then once you're crushered, you get enriched. Uh, you might need to auto eject on. You might also need auto eject on. And you might also need auto inject on. So I'm probably going to throw an interface on the side of this thing. We'll see. Or an import bus. Doesn't super matter. Right, uh, and what I'm also thinking is I would like a P2P here. Actually, no, I don't want a P2P here yet. I want to run this dude, and then we'll do the P2P here. How's that sound? I like that. I think that looks a little bit cleaner, cabling-wise, right? Uh, and then, oop, and we're gonna have an export bus, which I've totally hooked up. We're probably gonna need more of those. There they are. I did grab them. I knew I did. And you're going to wind up export busing all the metals that I want. So I've got one, two capacity cards, and I even made a few acceleration cards to speed things up. And I thought that would be cool. So then you're smelting and you're making gold for me. Awesome. Awesome. And then you just need um, some cabling as well. Uh, I missed. And then you should that thing. Yeah, go on. There you go, cool. Nice, so now we've got gold going on. I like it, all right. So now, what I'm gonna do is grab one stack of each. So silver, lead, iron, copper, tin, nickel, iridium, does thorium get pulverized? Can it, can it, can it do that? It can, all right, nice, that's what's up. Thorium can totally be processed. I like that. Boron, I presume also, yes. Uh, lithium, yes. Magnesium, yes. Uranium, yes. Nice, nice. I'm gonna put this stuff away for a minute. Uh, actually, I'll probably need those cards still. I don't think I need you guys for the next moment or two. Actually, I will need those cables, I lied. Boy, I'm lying about everything. Or no, I don't need the dense cables, that's fine. Uh, so we want the lithium and the magnesium and the uranium? That should be cool. All right, all right. So you're gonna export bus my silver and lead and iron and copper. 
and tin, and nickel, and iridium. And then, because I'm going to need one anyway, I might as well just tap into it right now. So you're going to get two of these and one of these. And you're going to get thorium. Nope. Lithium, magnesium, boron, and thorium, and uranium. Cool. So then I put all this stuff away, and they should all export bus right into the thing. Now, when we get back from mining, we can dump all our ores, and we don't have to organize them. And that's what's up. I like that quite a bit, thank you. And you will just process beautifully. Now, why do you feel like you're not working? Okay, no, he's working. He's not quite as fast as I thought he would be. A little quicker, please, buddy. Eh, he probably don't need to be that fast. He's good. He's doing the thing. Good work, bud. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. We have a lot of ores to process here, right? A lot of lot of lot of ores uh and that's why i focused on getting gold first because i want to get mechanism speed upgrades right so let's get like one more each i should probably set you to keep okay oh that's neat i didn't know that was a setting do i remember that being a setting So let's make the crush over here a little bit quicker. So I don't have to... Right, now we're getting to the point where power is no longer an issue, right? So now, what I'd like is like 32 of these. We need more iron, we need more iron. Let's prioritize iron just a smidge, should we? I feel like we should. Oh, your split is on, but like you're not working because things... Mm. We got enough iron that I could just double one stack and be okay, right? Are you getting low? How are you getting low? That makes no sense. We're gonna have to investigate that in a minute. We. It might be that my gas burning generator is not actually outputting. That could be a thing. That could be a thing. We'll fix that in a minute. I didn't actually ever test that. If that if that if that works out the top. Mm. I have no idea if it works out the top. Okay. Iron, iron, iron. Thank you, sir. And a smidgen of nickel. All right, now, can I have 32 of you? Yep, and can I have 32 of you? Yep, thank you. The only thing I might need to tick accelerate because I haven't upgraded the speed up yet is the smelter. But look how fast you run. That's what I like to see. Speed, my friends, speed. 600 R for tick, not terrible, not terrible. Now, are you doing anything? You're totally not. You stink. What's your beef, stranger? Where's your power output? Is it the green? Is green power output? Hey, there we go. 8,000 R of a tick. <gasps> He's doing the wobbly thing. That happens in this mod pack, too? Haha, <laughs> cool. The wibbly wobbly thing. Uh, producing 8,000 R of a tick. Max output 15.79 R of a tick. How does that make sense to anybody? Plus 7896. 7896. Max output, you say, can be 15, but you're not. You're producing and you're outputting the same amount. All right, that's fine. But that should be cooking real good and full now. Nice. And you should actually be done and slowing down at some point soon. Maybe not. Maybe once you're full. Yeah, you were just filling up. Slowing down now? Slowing down now. So that makes sense, see? So that guy produces a lot of RF, right? The gas burning generator produces a lot. 
8,000 RF a tick is what we were just getting. That is not too shabby. Not even a little bit. Uh, and how's my mechanism stuff coming along? Uh, what, what's your, uh, what's your slowdown, chief? Oh, you're making you, that's right, you're slow. Uh, I should speed up all these machines, to be fair. Like, all of them. It really, it really should be a priority. But I want to clear out my, my ore processing backlog first. And that's what we're going to do. Cool. All right, so you're gonna get, I wanna say you get four and everybody else gets eight. Right? Okay. Because I think that this guy just takes. Okay. There you go. Because I think the deal is because he's tripling, we have to like be patient, right? Um, so yes, you get four and you get eight. And then I think that keeps things relatively balanced. So now you're doing uh, 800 RF a tick. You're doing 600 RF a tick. You're doing 5.4 thousand RF a tick. All right, that's a lot of RF a tick. And 600 RF a tick, right? The enriching factory is the hardest part of this, power-wise. But... We're still doing pretty good on RF power gen. So that's cool. We just want to keep an eye on this dude to make sure that he's happy. And he, he does seem to be. Because, you know, all total, this is still not 8,000 RF a tick, right? So right now he's producing seven. So he's like right on the cusp of how much power we're capable of generating. Uh, but we're still doing good, right? And that means you're going to clear out your backlog. And don't forget, all that power gen is going to disappear soon, right? Uh, so let's get like... Uh, 8, 16, 24. Let's do 20 more of each of these. Oh, I need more sand. Well, that I can help with. Uh, da, 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 da. Right? So, like, 20 more of you. Uh, why does sand look so funny? Oh, you're missing iron still? Goodness gracious, chief. work iron would you stop being such a slacker we're doing pretty good here I'm liking this this is gonna this is gonna wreck the power that's what it's gonna do now the power is gonna be like you what what did you just do to me dire I was using 6,000 RF a tick as it was <sighs> What can I say? I, I'm addicted. I, you know, what can I say? Uh, but yeah, let's get 20 more of these dudes uh, and 20 more of these dudes. Because uh, what I'd love to do is speed up things like you, right? I want to get the rest of these lines like sped up as best I can. And you need some help too. Right? So you're already nice and fast. You need a little bit of speed help. This will help me a lot. That's looking good. And that's looking good. Sweet. Okay, and you should get it, right? Smelter. And you should probably get it, the guy making this thing, right? And that's pretty good for now, right? The other ones we'll, 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 we'll need it eventually, but those are the main ones that help with automation. And I think that that's like the priority that we should do for sure, right? So now you're choking on power a little bit? You can't be choking on power. What's your what's your problem, buddy? You've got enough power. Oh, you're choking on oxygen. Oh, yes, choking on oxygen. Yeah, that's that's a problem for sure. Speaking of, uh, get me like uh, 
Do 16 more of these, and 16 more of these. Because clearly, uh, we want to make sure that we're electrolytically separating fast enough. Right? So, th so see how much faster that's coming in now, by the way? It's pretty cool, right? I should acceleration card that gold dust. Because we've got a few extra acceleration cards we could put in here. Make that a little bit faster. Like I said, I want this to be in a good place for you guys when we do world download, and that's coming up pretty much now-ish. So let's do... So this guy uses a lot of power, by the way. Um, and what's funny about him, right? So he's currently doing 320, right, with one and one. So check this out. I throw another one of these in here. This, this machine's weird about it. 640? I throw this in there? Still 640. So it's like speed upgrades ain't doing nothing. A thousand R of a tick. A thousand R of a tick, and this machine will never back stuff. Rip. Is that enough oxygen though? I mean, it's kind of still not. It's it's still kind of not. I don't even know why I'm wasting speed up or, or energy upgrades in there. Still not enough oxygen. Now we're sitting at five thousand R for tick. That's 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 not a cool that's not a cool number, dudes. I am not happy with that number. So we seem to have a net gain on oxygen now. That's what we need to produce enough oxygen to keep our purification factory running? It's a bad time. So I think the solution is clear, right? Make another gas burning generator and hope we're producing enough ethylene that we can power both. I think that's, uh, I think that's a valid answer to that problem, yeah. So all we need then is you piping into there, hopefully producing enough that both can handle it. Um, and then... Now that's 5.2, right? We want we want that to be better. Right? Uh, so we need you. Oh good, we have some of those elites. Right? Because now that can do 25.6k. And then the real question is, is my ethylene dude going to produce that good enough? I think he will. Uh, but we could also throw uh, a few more of these dudes in there, just to speed it up. Where are we at, six for now? Let's just max it out, right? Why not? Because that's only using 20 R for tick. The PRC is not a huge uh, generator of of, uh, of of power cost, right? Uh, now, are you producing fast enough, or are you net lossing here? You're net lossing a bit, but we can probably do that and be good. That's six as well, we might as well cap it out. As long as we have kind of a net gain, it looks like, we do. We do, we're good, we're good. All right, so now you're hopefully producing enough ethylene to power both generators, no problem. It looks like you are. You're transferring plus 8,000 RF a tick. Now that's being choked because of this guy being a bad energy acceptor. So I'm gonna swap him with this. And then you, Flux Point, are going to instead, uh, I'm going to remove you. We're going to put the Flux Point here. You're going to be on the Direwolf Network. And then we will have you here, okay? Configured such that you output out the top and input from the bottom, and that should be cool. Right, and then you are now doing 12,000 R for tick, which is probably roughly what we're using um, between all our machines at the moment, which is the, the 6,000 here, roughly, right? 5.4, close to six. This guy using close to six, right? He might need a little bit more water help. Hopefully you're not a huge power drain, 71 R for tick. Four speed and energy upgrades should be more than enough. Yeah, net gain of water now. Booyah. Fill her up. I like it. All right. So I think that's a wrapping up point. Daryl 20 signing off. You guys get a world download with this now. So uh, that will be uh, to your benefit. You get to download the world. 
uh, and, and play with it. So we've got ore processing automated. We've got applied logistics in a good spot. We've got power generation in a good spot. Uh, we've got all kinds of really things in a good spot, right? I'm super happy with our base progress so far. Next episode, we'll come back and probably get away from uh, base maintenance and get back to playing with some new stuff, right? We've got some explorations to do. Uh, we've got a bunch of other things to play with. I don't even know what we're going to do, but we're going to figure it out. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.